Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to break down the best sunscreens for oily skin types. I decided to film with a Christmas tree in the background because I thought it would be cute, but I'm not sure if it's cute at all. I have no idea. I don't have the natural lighting here. I'm using only ring light, so hopefully you guys won't tell the difference. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, welcome aboard. I am Dani and I'm a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and on my YouTube channel, I do skincare product reviews, skincare educational videos, etc. So if this is your jam, you're of course welcome to subscribe. Now, before I start talking about the sunscreens, I just want to share a new discovery of mine and that is this compact mirror with a UV camera on one side by LNL Skin. So one side has a LED light mirror with three brightness modes and the other side has a UV test camera that reveals the sunscreen coverage. Uh, and this is called Sunscreen Coverage Reveal UV Magic Mirror and the company's name is Allen L and this is a Japanese company. And I just want to mention it in this video because it's appropriate because this is another sunscreen video. I'm talking about sunscreens again. So if you're struggling with applying sunscreen evenly, this can help you out a lot because it shows the sunscreen shows black in the UV camera and you can exactly see where you applied your sunscreen. So this is very helpful if you want to apply your sunscreen evenly. Plus what this device also helps me with is removing sunscreen in the evening and I'm using it very often for that as well because in the evening I just want to make sure that I have removed the sunscreen completely and properly. And sometimes when you use waterproof sunscreens that's not easy. So if you want to make sure that you have removed the waterproof sunscreen completely, you can use this little guy and you know, just be sure with that. Anyways, this device retails for $229, but you can get a 35% discount if you use my code DANNY35 at checkout. So I will leave a link for this device in the description box down below and I will put the code somewhere on the screen. So it's DANNY35. If you want to get this little guy, you can save some money and support my channel at the same time by using my code DANNY35. And now let me start talking about the best sunscreens for oily skin types. I'm going to start with the most mattifying sunscreen out there, and that is Vichy Ideal Soleil SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Dry Touch Sunscreen. Okay, so this one has a non comedogenic formula with mixoral based broad spectrum UVA and UVB filters, and it is also enriched with Vichy Thermal Spa Water. So this one is truly dry touch, as the name says. Says, this one actually mattifies your skin. It's so matte that I actually could not handle it because I do have dry skin and the only time that I was able to wear it was in the summer. This formulation has two oil absorbing ingredients, silica and aluminum starch octanalosuccinate and these ingredients actually do have oil absorbing properties and they are responsible for creating that mattifying effect on the skin. So if you want something truly mattifying, this is it. And I recommend this sunscreen only to people who have truly oily skin because otherwise you won't love it that much because, you know, as you know, I do have dry skin and the only time that I was able to use it was in the summer, not even in autumn, let alone not in winter and not even in spring. It was too mattifying for me. So if you're looking for something extremely, extremely mattifying, this one is for you. Okay, moving on. The next sunscreen that I can recommend for oily skin types is La Roche-Posay UV Immune 400 Fluid SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. Now this is a new sunscreen, it's launched in 2022 and what sets this sunscreen apart from others is that it has Mixoral 400 or the new UV Immune 400 UV filter that protects against the ultra long UVA rays. And that's the only UV filter at the market that can provide with that protection. Uh, all other filters on the market fail to protect in that area of ultra long UVA rays. So this one is liquid and lightweight, it leaves no white cast and it gives a glowy finish, but it's not greasy and heavy and it has no fragrance and no comedogenic ingredients and it will be a good fit even for acne prone skin. And this is why I recommend this one as well for oily skin types because of how lightweight and liquid it is. Now, if you mind the dewy finish, you can easily mattify that with some face powder. It's not as mattifying as Vichy Dry Touch and none of the other sunscreens that I will mention 
are that's Vichy is like the only one that mattifying so that's why I mentioned it first like if you want something truly mattifying get Vichy dry touch this one is not that mattifying but if it's not heavy and it's not greasy and if you mind the glow you can easily mattify it with some face powder and that's it but you do get a superior UVA protection we get in this one and you get a lightweight sunscreen on your skin and yeah not greasy not heavy anyways let's move on to the next one okay so the next sunscreen that i have for you is very similar to the uv moon 400 if we compare the sensor characteristics i'm talking about garnier ambre solaire super uv fluid sp50 broad spectrum now this one of course does not have the new uv filter mixoral 400 because this one was not launched this year but it does have the old mixorals mixoral xl and mixoral sx and those are the previously known flagship uv filters that l'oreal has patented so it still offers high and photostable both uva and uvb protection even though it does not have the hot new uv filter mixoral 400. now sensor characteristics of this one remind me of the uv moon 400 fluid because it has the same consistency it's liquid and lightweight and it leaves a subtle glow but it's not sticky not greasy and it leaves no white casts so this is why i also recommend this one for oily skin types next sunscreen that i want to recommend for oily skin is nivea shine control mattifying spf 50 plus uva sunscreen okay now this one is budget friendly drugstore sunscreen with great sensor characteristics it has a lightweight texture but it's very moisturizing it spreads out easily and leaves no white cast and my skin feels very soft and well moisturized right after application and at first it gives you a subtle glow but after a while the sunscreen absorbs and becomes more mattified now i do have to emphasize that this one is not as mattifying as the vichy dry touch and as i said none of the sunscreens that are coming are that mattifying like vichy is one and only that mattifying so don't expect this one to mattify uh, just like Vichy does but uh, it's not greasy and it's not sticky and it's not heavy so that's why I'm recommending it even for people who have oily skin and if you do mind the glow or if you want a little bit more mattifying finish you can just add some face powder on top and you will be good to go so this is why I'm recommending this sunscreen as well for people who have oily skin Okay, so the next few sunscreens that I want to recommend for oily skin types are Korean sunscreens. So the first one that I want to recommend is Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Ricin Probiotics SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. Okay, now this one is lightweight moisturizing, gives a subtle glow, but it's neither sticky nor greasy. And the reason why the sunscreen is on the list for oily skin types is because it's not moisturizing enough for my dry skin during winter and this is why i think it's going to be a perfect match for anyone who has oily skin again it's not mattifying as we should dry touch but it's lightweight and fast absorbing and i think that people who have oily skin will enjoy this one a lot another sunscreen that i cannot use in winter is make prem uv defense me daily sun essence spf 50 p quadruple plus now again this one is lightweight moisturizing gives a very subtle glow absorbs after a while and feels as if you have nothing on your skin but a lightweight moisturizer it's neither sticky nor greasy and again since the colder days started i cannot use it in the winter it's not moisturizing enough for me and it completely mattifies down after a while so this is why i recommend this sunscreen to people who have oily skin and the last korean sunscreen that i want to recommend to people who have oily skin is thank you farmer sun project skin relief sun cream sp50 p quadruple plus now again this one is super lightweight spreads out easily it's fast absorbing and feels like you're applying a regular moisturizer it gives a dewy finish at first but later becomes matte it's not sticky not greasy and it leaves no white cast after a while after applying it my skin feels completely matte so this is why again i'm recommending this one for oily skin types again and there you have it those would be the best sunscreens for oily skin types now take everything into consideration that i have said so far and figure out which one of these would be best suited for your skin type 
And yeah, that would be it for today's video. If you are interested in the Alan Elskin UV Magic Mirror, check out the link down below and use my code DANNY35 to get 35% off when purchasing this little guy. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.